in this video we are going to talk about CPD that is cephalo pelvic disproportion now what that mean cephalo pelvic disproportion what's that mean that's is that mean contracted pelvis only no it doesn't mean contracted pelvis contracted pelvis can can be a cause of CPD CPD means cephalo pelvic disproportion the head of the baby is that either too big or the pelvis is too small so that the normal delivery mechanism cannot occur it's called CP now the two parts are there either there may be a contracted pelvis or there may be a fetus is too big we are concerned about contracted pelvis here when we say a pelvis is a contract if we see that at the inlet if the obstetric conjugate is less than 10 centimeter and the transverse diameter less than 12 centimeter it is generally we call it as a CPD but it's again it's not like that if the fetus head is so small for example if the if there is a preterm delivery and uh, the size of the fetus head is uh, small then it can easily pass in even in this kind of diameters so there is no cephalopelvic disproportion either but when we talk about CPD we talk about a normal term delivery okay now at the level of cavity at the level of cavity what we what we got here is we need to assess the bispinal diameter the bispinal diameter if it is less than 8 centimeter or interspinous diameter plus posterior sagittal diameter sum of both of this is less than 13.5 centimeter we call it as a contracted pelvis interischial diameter less than 10 centimeter ischial bone is this we need to have this diameter more than 10 but if it is less than 10 centimeter we generally take it as a contracted pelvis uh, when we assess the uh, the uh, uh, outlet of the pelvis if the intertuberous diameter intertuberous diameter is less than 8 centimeter we also call it as a contracted pelvis now there is one thing like thomas dictum thomas dictum uh, tells that if the bispinous diameter and posterior sagittal diameter sum is less than 15 centimeter consider it as a CPD or a contracted pelvis and if the baby is of term size and adequate head is there the size of head then we need to go for cesarean section that is called Thomas dictum now what is the treatment of CPD uh, in most of the cases the treatment of CPD should be the cesarean section but in some cases we can go for trial of labor Trial of labor when we consider is, for example, if there is a primary patient with no other problems, with no other uh, associated diseases, in primary cases we generally take it as a, we do a trial of labor. We just allow some time, we, we just give some time to the, uh, to the body of the patient so that normal mechanism can occur. When we do it, when there is a mild degree of contraction at the pelvic inlet only, when there is a contraction at pelvic inlet and the head is not engaging on timely, we give them time in the primary patients. Uh, with uh, primary patient and the patients who, who have previous normal, non, uh, normal, non uh, complicated, normal previous deliveries, we do it best. What we do is we give them time, time. Okay, but again, trial of labor can only be done in the hospitals where the facilities of immediate caesarean section or emergency caesarean section is available like blood banks are available like uh, anesthetics available on time 24 hours we do only that time what are the contraindication of doing trial of labor for example if there is severe contracted pelvis and you know this thing this pelvis is very contracted then we can again don't give them trial if it's a previous caesarean delivery, we don't do it because the uh, severe rupture of scar rupture, severe risk of scar rupture. Now, 
if the previous history of this trial has failed then again we don't do this thing mal presentation of the uh, fetus bed obstetric stream and uh, multiple uh, abortions are there and multiple uh, iud's and previous obstetric histories and the babies uh, the pregnancy and any uh, possible outcome any possible bad outcome of this pregnancy is is not accepted then we should go for directly cesarean section we don't do trial of mother because it can literally the patient sometimes can uh, don't want to take any risk of normal delivery that's why we do what cesarean section severe pih cardiac disease is there and the, we what we need to do is we need to cut short the time of labor okay so to cut short the time of labor we sometimes avoid trial of labor and directly go for cesarean section cpd is not a recurrent indication of cesarean section for example in one in one patient for example if first time the cpd due to cpd the cesarean section is done but on the next time if the normal labor is progressing very well we don't do cesarean section we just allow them with the uh, risk of scar rupture should be there but still we allow them to go for normal delivery now there is a, there are various methods again but one of the important method is abdominal method of assessing the contracted pelvis or cpd at the level of inlet that is called muller care method in muller care method what we do is it is an abdominal method we do is we push uh, the head of the baby into the pelvis with one hand okay by doing abdominal palpation on the second hand uh, our second hand is on the symphysis pubis to know that the baby's head is really going inside the pelvis well or not or it is coming outside or it is it is over just overlapping the symphysis pubis that that means that the baby's head is not going well into the lap in well inlet so again we just try to rule out here but it is not a but it's not a very 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 accurate method or even not a accurate method but still we try to do it it's all about cpd thank you friends